Kumno kadu external affairs minister jangka India ya kiri sep ngi Padai ke jing arsap Halor kitir ya pom haka jing ele Tong ini skam Sangat kalau external affairs minister SJ Shankar haki risip ngi sasisin Halor ke pusyen jangka India halor ke Rusia Penken mau Jay Shankar haki risip ngi Ya ke jing yang jongla jong haka por bakalem ke Afghanistan Syakil enak Taliban Pencai kerpang Jay Shankar haki jengbom jubab ke Amerika Ya ke jing minon Afghanistan Jubab u Jay Shankar haki jeng keli Now foreign minister jangka Norway Harai Sina Dialog ha New Delhi Wadaw ke risip ngi ke jing pom penrem ke India ke jing hertma ke Rusia ha Ukraine Lajar kata, ban biang uji syangkar ke peong ba Yang ke India ya ke jing suk Bat kua ban kut no ke jing elek ha Ukraine There is really nobody who wants to see this conflict I mean, this, there will be no winners out of this conflict uh, So, but I, I also stress and I say this to you Because both of you are my European colleagues uh, And I understand that at this moment uh, This would probably occupy you to the exclusion of almost everything else but there is also a world out there and I'm very glad that you're sitting here in India uh, because it would remind you that uh, there are equally pressing issues in other parts of the world I mentioned Afghanistan I mentioned the challenges uh, which we faced in Asia uh, and if I were to put those very challenges in terms of principles I mean when when rules based order was uh, under challenge in asia the advice we got from europe is do more trade at least we're not giving you that advice uh, and uh, uh, the and in terms of uh, you know afghanistan i mean please show me which part of the rules based order uh, justified uh, you know what what the world did then so so let's let's uh, i think uh, see this in the right context uh, as, you know, our position is that we all have to find some way of returning to diplomacy in dialogue. And to do that, the fighting must stop. I think that is really the focus of what we are trying to do. We've been hearing for the last few months a lot of our lot of arguments from Europe, saying you know there are things happening in Europe and Asia should worry about it because these could happen in Asia. Guess what? Things have been happening in Asia for the last 10 years. Now, uh, Europe may not have looked at it. So, so, you know, this could be a wake-up call for Europe, not just in Europe. It could be a wake-up call for Europe to also look at Asia. Uh, so, there have been, I mean, this has not been an easy part of the world for the last few years. And uh, this is a part of the world uh, where, uh, you know, Boundaries have not been settled, uh, uh, where uh, terrorism is still practiced, often uh, sponsored by states. Uh, this is a part of the world where, uh, you know, the rule-based order has been under continuous stress for more than a decade. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's important for the rest of the world, outside Asia, to, to recognize that today. It's, it's not the problems are going to happen. The problems have been happening.